Yes, I'm Hugh Henry from Northern Kentucky University. Many EPA regulations are very costly, so it's important to do a real-world cost-benefit analysis because President Obama has directed that regulations which don't measure up be eliminated. The people of Northern Kentucky face a water rate increase of over 25 percent due to EPA's latest regulations to reduce the concentrations in drinking water of chemical byproducts of the chlorination disinfection process. Yet the health benefit will be minuscule or non-existent. Furthermore, the scientific basis and dose response model for these regulations is troubling. The maximum estimated benefit is avoidance of less than one half of one percent of new bladder cancers, an amount too small to measure and hence impossible to verify. Yet EPA concedes their benefit estimate is a quote, upper bound, and quote, the benefits may be as low as zero, meaning this minute estimated benefit is overstated. And the cost far outweighs the maximum benefit. It's about 200 times the savings for cancers not treated. In fact, we believe EPA's original cost-benefit analysis was seriously flawed because our cost is 100 times EPA's estimated average. There are questions about the science used to justify the regulations. For instance, EPA used seven epidemiological studies, and the scientist who was first or second author on four of the studies pointed out the data are contradictory and inconsistent. Two similar international agencies agree, and EPA acknowledges the data is, quote, mixed. Animal studies with the regulated chemicals show a risk of different cancers than EPA claims for people drinking chlorinated water, a discrepancy EPA's scientific advisory board stated must be, quote, must be resolved if EPA is to develop a scientific basis for a disinfection rule. But this discrepancy has not been resolved. Furthermore, EPA may have set risk levels 57 percent lower than necessary because they overlooked the latest research and their own guidelines about mixture toxicology. The linear no threshold dose response model, LNT, is the foundation of EPA's science. They believe these rules will protect the public from a, quote, weak association that is worthy of concern. But this is true only if the regulated chemicals follow LNT. If they follow the threshold model, TM, or hermetic model, these regulations are very expensive for no benefit and may even remove a health benefit. EPA provides no data to justify LNT. It's just their default with insufficient information. But one of the nine regulated chemicals has been thoroughly studied and is known to follow TM or the hermetic model. And 83% of EPA's epidemiological studies showed a statistical probability that drinking chlorinated water reduces cancer risk, suggesting TM or the hermetic model. And comprehensive studies have shown that LNT is the least reliable of the three models in the low-dose region. In other words, the data seem to suggest LNT is not the right model. In conclusion, these regulations lay a large unfunded mandate on the public and seem scientifically dubious. They should be eliminated as part of the President's directive. Details are found in an article to be published in the Dose Response Journal.